Alrighty, here we are for another round, and we're up against uh, Todd Stevens here. Um, so we're we lose the roll, we're on the draw, which is exactly what we want, and this hand is perfectly fine. Thought sees into smallpox, or Inquisition into smallpox, I suppose, is a great start. And there's a nice little smallpox target. The question is, can we uh, um, get rid of everything relevant and like another creature? Unfortunately, the answer is a resounding no <laughs> here. So this is actually a bit of a tricky, tricky choice since uh, our opponent doesn't actually have a third land. So if we take birds of paradise and then our opponent doesn't draw another land that's really good for us because we can um, thought sees away the eternal witness and they'll still be on two lands if if we uh, take the eternal witness then they can go burning tree into birds and uh, our smallpox is going to be not so good at that point because all it will get is a burning tree emissary and they'll they'll have uh, ramped very close to Garuk. The thing is we can either Thotsies the Garuk or just smallpox away a land at anyways which is going to keep them off Garuk mana. So I think it's clearly Eternal Witness even though if they do happen to miss their land drops it would be probably slightly better to take the birds but I think we just lose on the spot if if we take the birds and then they draw land so taking a witness seems like the way to do the thing alright and there's burning tree into birds into land so there was in fact land um, so now we know the old hand is, uh, Karn, Garuk, obviously the Karn is never doing anything in a million years, um, the Garuk, of course, is, can be cast, so we need to thought seize the Garuk, if we smallpox, um, a land off the top means Garuk, which means trouble for us and then we go ahead and dismember um, the uh, arbor elf and there's another birds which we don't really like to see so here we kind of just have to grind through all this and we're we're already getting low because of dismember again we don't really care about the um, the Karn. <laughs> so we're just grinding through birds. And Wistful Slucky is pretty much the worst thing for us since it's it presents a threat and a card. Basically that and Eternal Witness are the cards we do not want to see. So here I get to Smallpox for essentially free and leave up Mutavault because discarding swamp doesn't matter so we're trying to we're trying to get ourselves into a position where we can Liliana against uh, one creature so we're gonna block uh, wistful Soki with mutavault and draw wrench mind Um, I don't really know why I'm casting Wrench Mind, because we know... Oh, wait. No, wait. We already discarded the card, so... It, it, to the smallpox, so yeah. Casting Wrench Mind is completely fine. Since we don't want uh, to give a chance for, like, Wistful Sulky or you witness to be cast off the top. 
and then just go ahead and funeral charm because it's not doing anything else and burning tree unfortunately we didn't hit our land for Liliana if we had have hit it immediately we would have been gonna been in a great spot and as it stands we're just dead <laughs> beat down by two twos and finally draw the land but it's too late because we are at one and then we go to sideboarding so Karn is not really what we expect to see post board but it's also incentive not to run ensnaring bridge just thinking about ensnaring bridge getting primal commanded uh, <laughs> makes me not want to run ensnaring bridge Knight of Souls Betrayal seems okay. Kills birds, arbor elves, e witnesses. Again, a little bit slow. Probably just want the disfigures. Um, possibly some relics as well, because it's great against uh, e witness. As for cuts, um, probably Raven's Crimes. A shrieking affliction. Um, wrench mind. Wrench mind seems okay, but not great. Um, if we're really looking for things to cut, which we kind of are at this point, maybe another Raven's crime. Um, and then we can just probably just go like this. The Knight of Souls Betrayal would be nice, but it's a little slow, and I'm happy um, denying the E-Witness cards, although Relic it isn't really all that necessary either, to be honest, but probably, eh, probably just get rid of all the Raven's Crimes, or maybe keep one, yeah. Probably sideboard just like that. And then we choose not to play first. And see this hand, which is quite alright. Happy to have this hand. And Utopia Sprawl. I mean, isn't ideal for us. Um. Fortunately, we're just getting a nice eternal witness and seeing a bit of a slow hand, so that's kind of what we wanted to see. So here, um, we could have smallpoxed, which would have been great, but it potentially means we're just never casting anything again. Um, we start with the Raven's Crime. and uh, just to give our opponent a little bit less information and then we can follow it up with the dismember to uh, make sure primal command can't be cast so Finx is a bit of an issue gonna take some doing to grind through the Finx uh, but we get to start with ye old smallpox and things aren't looking great um, we do have shrieking affliction in the rack our opponents out of cards but they still have a good amount of mana they can cast wistful selkies and e-witnesses uh, if they draw them which would be a huge issue So birds comes down. Um, I decide to get the rack online and pray nothing bad comes out of here, like a Garuk or Primal Command. It, it was probably just safer to disfigure one of these because they represent a lot of mana. But now we're in a great spot. Um, we can disfigure the birds, 
and then shrieking affliction and then follow that up with uh, smallpox uh, and here we actually have to choose between disfiguring smallpox I decide to just smallpox because we're going to win pretty quick here and uh, it really really gets rid of the lands as well and I just scoop them up and go into game three and this hand is perfectly fine. Thoughtseize, smallpox, two shrieking afflictions. And classic turn one Thoughtseizes. And we see Burning Tree. Um, and Utopia Sprawl as our, as our big choices. Uh, I suppose Primal Command is actually a choice as well, but we really want to disrupt the early game probably just taking Utopia Sprawl seems best although the thing about taking Burning Tree is that it it makes our smallpox uh, hit the Arbor Elf uh, the thing I didn't consider is that if we take the Burning Tree and our opponent draws um, draws a... well actually they, they the thing I didn't consider was that they they're gonna get to use the Utopia Sprawl with Arbor Elf immediately so I should have definitely just taken the Utopia Sprawl but I end up taking the Burning Tree which leaves us very vulnerable here and we we that's that's not the worst case scenario the worst case scenario would have actually been uh, Garouk but now we can't even smallpox away the Arbor Elf, and it's going to be uh, causing issues for us. And a land there would have meant uh, Primal Command could have got cast. Unfortunately, we're getting punished by not drawing a way to discard the Primal Command, and now we're going to get Primal Commanded. and opponent goes for e-witness and uh, gain seven life which is actually really good for us because if we had have got a permanent put on top of our library uh, we wouldn't have had a chance to draw the Slotsies and get rid of the eternal witness and that would have actually just been game as it stands we got to actually thought sees the eternal witness and hit again with shrieking afflictions and that's a lot of mana but the shrieking afflictions are going to finish the job but e-witness is also an issue getting back primal command so we need something good and we happen to draw a wrench mind. So that this was definitely a game with some twists and turns. Again, primal command would be an issue, but they don't draw it. And we actually played Urborg at the worst time as well, because the turn windswept Heath into a swamp. So again, some uh, a few awkward choices made on both sides. Now, surprisingly, <laughs> a lot of choices to be made as to what you should make your opponent discard. Although, I mean, in retrospect, these decisions are obvious, but sometimes in the heat of the moment, you just gotta go with your heart, and your heart is wrong. <laughs> Never listen to your heart, always listen to your brain. <laughs>